so uh, going back to my database here where I have created my database login project and there is a table admin I'm going to add a data here with uh, serial number as one the username is uh, Jinu Java and username is uh, JINU1234 uh, and the password I'm uh, putting it as 123456 okay now let me save this okay I have added the data in my uh, table now I'll be uh, checking uh, this username and password while uh, logging in okay now going back to my code I'm going to create a model class uh, which is uh, actually checking the user name and password is uh, available in my, our database or not so I'm getting creating a new package uh, model and inside that I'm going to create a new class here uh, login model okay and just press enter now we have created the login model where we will call our uh, database and check the username and password which is typed by uh, the user first uh, create a method here uh, public I am returning a boolean here if uh, the login is correct uh, it should uh, get me a boolean true and if the login is false it should get me a boolean uh, false okay if the login is uh, wrong uh, with wrong credential so public boolean uh, check uh, username okay and I'm just creating a uh, I'm passing a uh, bean class of login bean inside this one and creating an object of that and just import it by pressing control space now I'm creating a boolean uh, flag equals uh, false okay and uh, first I'm uh, I'm just returning it the flag okay return flag now I have to call uh, a uh, database connection so i have to create a, an object of that so db connection obj db connection equals new db connection and i'm just creating a connection class of connection and it's it is from uh, java.sql and uh, connection is equals so please import this one also dot get connection okay so this will return a connection object uh, which is actually the database connection uh, to our database okay now inside a try catch uh, I'm going to write uh, some um, uh, SQL queries here so I'm just giving an SQL query string uh, query is equals so the queries uh, select uh, star from what is the a, a table name which we have given as admin okay so shall so start from admin uh, username user underscore name user underscore name equals question mark and password equals question mark okay I'm going to create uh, this by prepared statement which is the safest method uh, for creating SQL queries so just import the prepared statement uh, ps equals null now I am uh, connecting uh, the connection to that uh, so uh, ps is equal to connection dot prepared, prepared statement uh, and uh, the query is inside that and we have to set what is error here prepared statement uh, from where I have uh, no this is not from jdbc connection it's uh, not from com.mysql.jdbc prepare statement it is actually uh, java sql prepare statement okay now it is like ps uh, the prepare statement i have uh, connected our connection to that now we have to set the two values which we have given it as uh, uh, the question mark so first value is uh, the username so check the login usb dot get username and same way and uh, 
the password is uh, get password okay get password fine so we have to get a result set to uh, to get these values so result set uh, rs is null now i'm getting the result set to rs is equal to ps dot execute query so the values will come into there now if the values is there in the result set um, put the flag as one so rs dot next if the uh, value is there put the flag as uh, true okay fine so we have called the connection we are uh, calling a, a sql statement uh, to get the values from the database if the value is there i'll set the, the flag as true now finally we have to close uh, the database here so i'm just giving a finally block here uh, it is actually the finally block and inside that i'm just closing the connection like if uh, connection node is equal to null just close the connection dot dot close okay so we should close the connection to uh, avoid uh, the unwanted memory leakage okay so what is the uh, okay we have an sql type exception here uh, this should be again uh, try catch inside the try catch okay fine now we are all set uh, to call this function from the sign in controller now going back to our sign in controller let me create an object of the login model obj uh, i have created the object of the login model now i'm going to import it manually uh, because uh, my control space usually it, if i press control say it is coming usually i'm not sure why it is not coming now so i am giving it manually model dot uh, login model so i have just imported it now uh, i'm just cre creating a boolean value here boolean flag here which is uh, which will uh, store if it is uh, true or false so bj dot uh, it's not getting the function a it's a function is check username so in the controller it's check username and we'll pass the object of uh, login uh, bin here okay so now if the flag is uh, true the login is successful and if the flag is false uh, the login is failed okay now i'm just uh, giving an out dot println to uh, get me uh, the print value in uh, the jsp itself so out dot println flag and uh, i'm just giving a message success uh, login success and uh, else i'm just giving login failed okay now let me restart uh, the project and let's uh, see the output in the chrome itself let me restart this project completely uh, let me restart the server here okay uh, going back to our chrome and uh, let me refresh the project again now i'm just giving a random value username and password and if i'm submitting this one it should give me some message there in my yes it's login failed and i can see here uh wait if i'm giving a print of that prepare statement we can see the query here so it will be system dot out dot print ln ps so i can see uh, the value which uh, the sql query which is going to run here now let me re i just restart the project again going back uh, to our login screen so i'm just giving some value again here and submitting and it's again login field you can see here what is the sql carry happening here okay it's from username this one and password this one now i'm uh, giving the username and password as kara it's a genu1234 and password is 123456 so going back to my login here it's a genu1234 and the password is one two three four five six if i'm logging this one we can see here true login success now this is the 
uh, query which is executed just now now what is next it is executed uh, the true login here so if the login is success it should go to your profile page and the login is failed it should give a message and uh, get back uh, to the uh, login screen again so I'll uh, show you how to do that